back to MBE. Today I want to explain what we were capable of doing with an LS7 head compared to what we were capable of doing to the Dart LS MBE 10 degree head. Okay, both LS heads, right? LS7 is considered an excellent head, but it's not, okay? An LS7, as you can see, has as many things. The biggest issue is all these LS motors, uh, I shouldn't say all of them, but the majority of people that are building small blocks of any kind are 400 cubic inch on up, okay? The LS is not designed for 400 cubic inch on up, okay? Some of you may think that, but it's not, and I think this will be a good explanation for that. So, first of all, let's just go port size. This is the, this is the model head for the, for the large port for the drag head, okay? So this is a pretty big port for, a, for an LS7. As you can see, over the short term, that's what we got, right? Okay, so now we're coming over to the MBE Dart LS7. You can see, and if you can notice, even width-wise in here, it's so much larger, okay? Part of the reason it's larger is because it has a lot more valve area too. So we have a 2300 valve here for the MBLS LS 10 degree, and this has a 2230 valve. 2230 valve, yeah, a large, a large amount of area. The biggest difference is, is the price. And what people need to realize, you can step up your whole program if you spend your money right the first time it's $1,000 per head more to go to something that will make hundreds of more horsepower and fit your application much better. And that doesn't mean if, if you're running naturally aspirated, this is a much better head. If you're running a power adder, this is a much better head. And then we'll go to some other reasons, okay? More, more cross-sectional area. So we got at the push rod, okay? Well, with this, you know, it's tight at the push rod. Well, let's just see what we got. Okay, so there we are. Let's come over to here. Okay. I mean, we're talking 300 thousandths larger everywhere. So up and down 300, side to side 300. Plus it's larger down in the bowl area because it has a larger valve in it. So when you come here, we can both... Both of them can be power friendly. If we put a seven degree soft chamber in this, which, you, which, which everyone has seen by now, um, you know, we go in here at seven degrees and put the soft chamber in, which we can do to this too. So they're both power adder friendly. The difference is if you put a head like this on, you're gonna make much more power per pound of boost. Because what we need to remember is boost is a measurement of restriction. Boost is not power. Boost is a measurement of restriction. So if this head, makes, let's say, eight pounds less boost, but makes 150, 200 more horsepower, what's gonna happen when you put that eight pounds of boost back in it? With a power adder, this could be five, up to 500, maybe 600 more horsepower, like in a, in a twin turbo or, or, or something like that. And it's only a thousand dollars per head difference. So it's ludicrous to do something like this that was great in its day, but we gotta remember, this is based on 18 year technology, 20 year old technology. Now we have something that's built for a race head here, okay? And you can see the copper brilliant seats and all of that, but you got the flow coefficients, okay? On our 1020 bench, which we always say the 600 flows more air, we only give you 1020 numbers. This is 485 CFM. So on a 600 flow bench, this is gonna flow around 500. 500, more than a conventional big block head. You come over to here, the best I can do with this is 400 CFM. That's it, it's maxed out. I got, we got nothing else for it, okay? So certainly, yes, the 85 CFM is gonna make a, a lot of power, but the cross-sectional area is gonna, make a, is gonna make more power than what the CFM is. So this is a huge, huge upgrade. I don't know how for $2,000 for the pair, it's the cheapest horsepower you can buy. You know, if you hundreds of horsepower for $2,000. And then you got something that you don't have to upgrade to in the next two or three years when you want to go to the next level. Save your money, $2,000 more dollars, and go to the next level. What we can do with the Dart, with an LS7 head, and what, what can we do, and what we can do with an LS10 degree. 
So now this is why you do your homework and you can save yourself a lot of money and make a lot more power. And if you're on the fence, you're not sure if it fits your application or, or anything, just call me. That's what I'm here for. I will answer your questions. Thank you so much. Have a good day.